If you're a breast cancer survivor and you're experiencing swelling and heaviness in your breast, you may have lymphedema. In this video, I'll guide you through what breast lymphedema is, what the symptoms are, and how to effectively manage it. Hi, I'm Alex Hill. I'm an oncology physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist. Before we dive into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new lymphedema videos. video, I'm going to go through specifically breast lymphedema. If you're looking for information on treatment for arm swelling from breast cancer and the treatments, check out my video links in the description. Breast lymphedema is a common condition after breast cancer treatment, specifically surgery that involves removal of the lymph nodes or radiation therapy that impacts the lymph nodes in that area. It's characterized by swelling in the breast or in the chest wall because of damage to the lymphatic system in that area from the cancer itself or from cancer treatment that prevents the drainage of that fluid in that area. This then leads to a buildup of very protein-rich fluid in that affected area, causing it to swell. Besides swelling, lymphedema in the breast and the chest can often cause feelings of heaviness, tightness or fullness in the breast or even up into the shoulder area. You might also have discomfort or pain in the breast taking trouble taking deep breaths and decreased range of motion and flexibility of the shoulder. Additionally, lymphedema can also cause skin and tissue changes, including a hardening of the tissues called fibrosis, dimpling of the skin, or redness of the skin. Breast lymphedema can develop fairly quickly after your cancer treatment, or it could develop months or even years after your treatment. Because the lymphatic system was damaged, you'll always be at risk for developing lymphedema, so it's important to know what those signs and symptoms are that I just went through so you can monitor your own symptoms. Unfortunately, the swelling involved with lymphedema is progressive and it doesn't get better on its own without treatment. And so as it progresses, it can cause more symptoms and cause more issues, including increasing your risk for infection in that area of the breast and the chest wall. Because it's progressive, this is why it's so important to get an early diagnosis and a jumpstart on treatment to manage that swelling get it reduced and keep it lower so that that doesn't progress. All right, so let's talk about how to manage breast lymphedema. First and foremost, it is critical that you work with a certified lymphedema therapist or a CLT. These are specially trained healthcare providers, most often physical and occupational therapists who are able to assess and treat lymphedema and lymphatic conditions. I'm including some links in the description below with different resources for you to find a certified lymphedema therapist near you to get the treatment that you need. There are also four basic components to treating breast lymphedema and lymphedema in general. This is called complete decongestive therapy or CDT, or this is also called complex decongestive therapy. These four components are critical to treating, again, any type of lymphedema, including breast lymphedema. So let's go through those. First up is manual lymphatic drainage or MLD. This is a specialized hands-on gentle technique that's utilized to move the fluid out of that affected breast and chest tissue and move it out of that area. MLD is performed by a lymphedema therapist and they'll also teach you how to do this for yourself. If you're looking for a video on how to do the lymphatic massage for yourself, I'm including links in the description below and also at the end of this video that you can follow for step-by-step -step instructions on how to do your own massage. Keep in mind that these videos are generalized instructions, so if you can, always try to work with a lymphedema therapist so you have an individualized lymphatic massage routine that you can do for yourself. Now, if you have difficulty doing the manual lymphatic drainage yourself, or you have advanced lymphedema and there's fibrosis in the breast, or somebody's taking care of you and helping you treat your lymphedema at home, there's also devices that are called intermittent pneumatic compression devices. These are 
machines that can actually do the massage for you. These machines are also simply called pumps, and these pumps consist of a motor and an inflatable sleeve or garment that's worn over the affected area. For the breast swelling, then it would involve a trunk piece and often an arm piece as well. That inflatable portion that's over the chest and breast area is going to fill with air from the motor and then sequentially inflate and deflate that naturally mimics that rhythmic lymphatic system movement, but also is going to be utilized to help kind of mimic the lymphatic massage that you or your lymphedema therapist would be doing. The second part of complete decongestive therapy for managing your lymphedema is going to make sure that you have the right type of compression. You do not want to wear just a regular sports bra because the compression with sports bras is made to just basically compress the tissue. It can actually move the fluid from the breast and chest and just dump it to the side and make that swelling worse. Additionally, oftentimes a sports bra band is not very wide. And so when you have the sports bra on, it's not going to be covering a lot of the area that you actually need covered. Lymphedema is best managed with adequate compression. And so we want to make sure that you have the right type of bra, which is going to be a compression bra. One of my favorite lymphedema compression bras is from Prairie Wear. You can see that the band is much wider on the side. And these lymphedema compression bras work by helping to facilitate movement of the fluid back up and in versus just compressing it out like a sports bra would. Like I said, Prairie Wear is one of my favorite bras to recommend. Besides the adequate compression, the type of compression that it gives, it also has a zipper in the front that actually clicks in place. So when you're moving around and jumping, it's not going all over the place. The zipper is really easy to use and it only has one clasp that you need to deal with. A lot of the compression bras have multiple clasps that you need to use. This just has the one that you put in place and once that's hooked, then you can easily zip it right up. The other thing that I like about this compression bra and other compression bras have this too, if we flip it inside out, it has the pockets here that you can either use for just a liner piece or if you have a prosthetic, that will also fit into those pockets of this bra. Additionally, with this bra, you can adjust the straps as you need to. The straps are actually pretty padded for a bra, so it's not going to cause a lot of indentation and pain. And the one last thing that I love about the Prairie Wear bras is that they're antimicrobial and they also come in different colors like black, beige, and this fun pink color. If you want to get your hands on one of these compression bras from Prairie Wear, I do have a link in the description below. Besides making sure you have the right type of compression, compression bra, if you have hardening of the tissue, if you have fibrosis, if it's really stubborn swelling, then you may benefit from using something like a swell spot. These swell spots are made of a bunch of different little foam pieces that are within the garment itself. And then as you can see, they have channels that help to direct that fluid. So you can use this. This is a little bit large for me, but you can utilize this under the compression bra so it goes right over the breast and you see that it can actually come pretty far behind because many people who have breast swelling also have some swelling into the side of the trunk. So a swell spot like this would be really helpful. Again, you can just wear it right under your compression bra. Some other swell spot options are going to be this one. This is called a peanut. And this is going to be more if you have troublesome swelling here in the axillary region, you can place that right under the armpit like that. And then you just go ahead and wear a compression bra. There's also some, com some compression tank tops and some compression shirts or compression um, garments that have sleeves on them. And those are going to be helpful with getting adequate compression throughout that entire area if you have swelling underneath the armpit. And one other option for the chest swelling is going to be this sternal pad. So you can place this against the skin like that. And again, just wear some compression over it. That's going to be really helpful if you have swelling or fibrosis on the inside part of the breast. The third component to CDT and reducing and managing your lymphedema is exercise. 
gentle movements and muscle pumping to work the trunk, the neck and the shoulders is going to help with reducing that swelling. Muscle pumping helps to actually move that fluid out of the area, so it's not good just to sit in place for a really long period of time. I am including a link in the description below and at the end of this video for a gentle exercise routine to help you decrease the swelling in your breast or chest. Additionally, getting regular physical activity, including aerobic exercise and resistance training, is recommended for all cancer survivors, including those with lymphedema. Make sure you work with an oncology rehab provider like a physical or occupational therapist. And if you have lymphedema, you definitely want to make sure that you're starting out your exercise in a progressive supervised by one of these oncology rehab providers so they can make sure that they guide you in an appropriate progression and monitor for any worsening of that swelling. All right, the last piece of the puzzle for treating and managing breast lymphedema is skin care and self care. You want to make sure that you're moisturizing the area daily with just a plain white lotion, no perfume or anything special in it. Utilizing the lotion or the oil is going to help keep the skin healthy and help decrease the risk of infection in that area, which is common with lymphedema. Finally, avoid excessive sun exposure, wear sunscreen and SPF clothing, wear bug spray if you're going to be outside. And if you get scratched in that affected area, make sure that you get it clean, dry, and monitor for any worsening swelling or signs of infection. Signs of infection can include significant swelling in the area that happens pretty rapidly. The area gets very red, it gets tender or painful to touch. You might have even have a fever or feel like you have the flu. If you have any of these signs or symptoms of infection, make sure you contact your medical provider immediately. All right, so just to recap, you should manage your breast lymphedema first and foremost by seeing a certified lymphedema therapist, and then utilizing those four components of CDT, which is lymphatic massage or using a pump, using the right compression, being active with exercise, and doing self-care and skin care. If you found this video helpful, please like it and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos on how to manage your lymphedema.